Hello, today I'll be showing you how to create this kind of material here in V-Ray SketchUp. This material can be seen in the real world. It has a special feature that we can see from these photos. The object behind this material have a great influence in it. As you can see here, the hand of this guy is more clear than his face because obviously his face is farther away from this material as compared to his hand. So the farther object away from this material, the blurry it appear. This because the value of glossiness from this material is a little bit lower. The refraction will become blurry as the value of glossiness is decreased. And, and at a certain point, this refraction will become so blurry that it can dissolve what is behind the object. As you can see here, it is important to present different materials or different type of glass material or any material with transparency and a little bit blurry. In V-Ray, this effect play on the glossiness of refractive channel. So let's try this one. I have here the object that I want to give the material for frosted glass and this is the one that I I used from my previous tutorial and I gave the material for it as a simple color light green and its name frosted glass. By default we can see the diffuse channel option maps and I wanna create the refraction. For it. You can see the refraction here. What I want to do here is I can adjust the IOR 1.2 and the glossiness to about 0 0.85, 0 0.85, and the fog. I, I want to change the color of fog into a little bit green. So you can pick the color from here and for now let us preview uh, we cannot see any effect yet because the diffuse transparency is uh, zero meaning there is no transparency at all so in order to give the transparency click this uh, color icon and uh, play on the white and black color only so if I want to make it full transparent, I can grab until this very white color and uh, I want to make it a little bit transparent so I can choose from here. I want to make my value about 2 to 5 and hit OK. And let's preview this one. As you can see, this color green on the refraction is very prominent and this is because from the fog color we can reduce the multiplier into about 0.5 and let's check this one not that much so a little bit more about 2 0 0.2 so it gives a little bit decent result here and also uh, I wanna give the reflection on this material so I wanna create reflection and ok and it has reflection reflection glossiness and refraction glossiness are completely different. Reflection glossiness affects only on the surface but the refraction glossiness affect on the material behind it. So um, important thing to understand. Highlight, I want to make the highlight here about 0.85 and the reflection about 0.85 also. Here the changes, not that much. 
and I want to increase a little bit the subdivision up to 16. That's everything that we need to remember, a very basic and a simple parameter. Let's try to render this one. And also, here also, we need to reduce the amount of transparency under the refraction channel. You can see from here, it's giving what we want. Let us try this one. Surrender. So basically that's all the parameter that you have to play on and if you are not reaching your transparency output you can reduce the the diffuse transparency you can increase you can make it a little bit more transparent or you can do the transparency a lot more on the refraction also and all the settings that you need to, to adjust in order to get this kind of result. Thanks for watching.